Are there actually good options for studying Biblical Hebrew and Aramaic online? Hi, I'm Doug, and I want to encourage you in studying the Biblical languages. Today we're talking about Biblical Hebrew and Biblical Aramaic, options for studying them online. Now, you may not be able to be part of an in-person class for whatever reason, to be there with the professor and the classmates in the same room. But don't let that stop you from moving forward with your study of the biblical languages. Take advantage of the wealth of resources available to us today. We're going to talk about some options today, both free and paid options. When I started my journey in Hebrew and Aramaic, it began with Hebrew in 2008, and then the seminary was mailing out DVDs. Later on, I took a course where we had YouTube videos that were pre-recorded. Another experience I had that was just wonderful was a live YouTube streamed class where we could interact with the professor and classmates via the comment section. So that's about as close as I got uh, to being in person. Uh, the only exception, I did get to take a Hebrew review reading course with Adam Howell, and we went through the book of Ruth with that, and that was a wonderful experience. But most of my studies have been online, and I've still been able to move forward, and even at times to have an advanced placement with taking exams because of what I had learned even in the online setting. So let's talk about a few good resources for studying Biblical Hebrew and Aramaic online. You may already have a school that you're at that offers some courses online, but whether they're just limited to the elementary ones and you just want to go further in your studies, or maybe you want to supplement some things that you're doing, check out these options. The first I want to mention is dailydoseofhebrew.com. This is a free website and it also has a sister uh, YouTube channel, and you can check out the learn lessons if you want to go through a grammar, or if you're prepping for a course or reviewing Hebrew grammar, you can walk through Mark Futado's Hebrew grammar with Mark Futado himself doing the recordings there, uh, go through that beginning grammar. I found this very helpful as I was getting ready to jump back into Hebrew after an eight-year hiatus from Hebrew 1 to Hebrew 2, and they were using Futado, and this got me very much ready for that course. And that is in the Learn tab, dailydoseofhebrew.com slash learn. Daily Dose of Hebrew also has daily videos. They'll mail you those uh, through your email. You can subscribe to their channel. Adam Howell is currently going through the book of Deuteronomy as I record this video in March 2024, verse by verse. And that's a way that you can keep up with your, your Hebrew and continue to grow in it as well. So Daily Dose of Hebrew, great free option for studying Biblical Hebrew. Another option I want to mention that's not free, but maybe for some of you, is Bible Mesh. I particularly uh, recommend looking at the Bible Mesh Biblical Languages Certificate Program that includes both Hebrew and Greek. I went through all of those reading courses, and you'll be able to go through in Hebrew the book of Jonah, uh, parts of Genesis, Exodus. It's a wonderful experience getting into the text and reading. The content of the instruction is very good. I do need to give one caveat about it, though, and that's just that the software programming of coding the text entry for the answers and the, the requirements for web browser and things like that. Last time I went through that course a couple years ago, it needed a bit of work. And in 2024, just putting that out there, just, just beware, maybe check out a trial first but they will be very picky about the entry, the order of vowels and the dagesh and uh, so forth when you are inputting your answers, and they will count some things wrong that will look right on the screen, but if they were entered in a different sequence on the computer than what they specified the order should be for the text entry, then it will count those wrong. And so that, that cost me a few points here and there. But I must say the instruction on it, the content was very good, and the exposure to the biblical text and the grammatical concepts helped me to reach another level of Hebrew study. And so the Biblical Languages Certificate Program with Bible Mesh is something that you may want to check out, and especially if your school would agree to give you some credit or advanced standing for taking those, and some will do that, because we're talking about roughly 15 semester hour equivalent study with going through these reading courses in Biblical Hebrew. So that's Bible Mesh. Another thing that you may want to consider is taking advantage of some of these uh, communicative approach options. Several of them have online components. The Biblical Language Center and Biblingo are two options that are paid options, but they are good about getting you into the reading early on and using a communicative approach. My number one recommendation on this, though, is the free site 
Olive with Beth. They have a YouTube channel. Their website is freehebrew.online. And these are very entertaining videos that are around 20 minutes many times. And they'll have some follow-up videos. The website has some quizzes you can take. But it really starts by letting you hear and practice speaking before you start recognizing the letters, kind of like we learned our first language. Now, regardless of your views on uh, pedagogy for learning the biblical languages, this is something that you could either start out with, you could either be prepping for taking Hebrew down the road with this, or you could use it alongside a grammar translation method that's so prevalent in our system still. But it's a wonderful resource. You'll enjoy it. It's something you can go through with your kids as well. And I highly recommend it. Now, when it comes to Aramaic, there's not quite as many options, but there are some options as well. Just like we have Daily Dose of Hebrew, there's also Daily Dose of Aramaic. And you may have seen the video with Scott Callahan some time back. He's the host for that. And he also is the author of the baby the biblical aramaic for biblical interpreters talked with him a little bit about that on the program and this is a wonderful resource that teaches you biblical aramaic by means of biblical hebrew and he walks through this grammar through every lesson on the daily dose of aramaic.com slash learn section the learn tab there and he also has the daily videos he's walked through ezra and daniel as well as the portions of aramaic and genesis and jeremiah and it's just a wonderful, wonderful resource. He's got some additional Aramaic resources there as well. But as far as starting out learning biblical Aramaic, you couldn't go wrong with heading to Daily Dose of Aramaic. Now, I learned Aramaic online through um, just networking. I was in the Nerdy Biblical Language Majors Facebook group and found out about a Zoom group that was meeting. And we went through Van Pelt's grammar that way. Also found out about someone who had studied with him who was offering a, a class. Wasn't for credit, but he was a, a recent uh, PhD graduate. And he offered this and several of us met every week. We worked through the text, uh, read verses, translated, did homework and so forth. And he checked uh, things that we sent in. And that was a wonderful way for me to learn Aramaic. So sometimes you got to be aware of some opportunities, think outside the box a little bit. But don't give up in your pursuit of the study of the biblical languages, biblical Hebrew, biblical Aramaic. You can learn them even if you can't be there in person. Plenty of opportunities online, and I hope you will check some of these out. Are there actually good options for studying Biblical Hebrew and Aramaic online? Indeed there are.